Hi, I'm Jeff. I'm the lead carpenter and the cabinet maker over at Bantam Built, and today we are going to put together some drawer boxes for our GoSun project. All right, so right now I'm building drawers for the GoSun project, and we're not doing really fancy dovetail drawers. We're just doing some some simple drawer boxes out of uh, pre-finished plywood, so we don't have to paint it later. Um, and we're using plywood instead of solid wood to save a little bit of money on it. So the first thing, I already have all my pieces cut for all of them. And the first thing we're going to do is put our edge banding on there so you don't see the plywood edges. And this is just iron on edge banding. We haven't gotten our edge banding machine working yet. So we're doing it the old fashioned way. You can have your iron turned up pretty hot but you don't want to leave it in one place too long or you will burn marks into it or you'll overheat or you can overheat the glue and then it won't stick at all. So now that we've got the edge banding on all four pieces for this drawer, I'm going to bring it over to the router table and we'll trim the extra banding off of it flush. And this is just a flush trim bit. So you can just put it right into it. We'll do two passes around the whole thing to make sure we get all of it off. All right, so now that I've got most of the edge banding trimmed off, we're gonna take it over to our edge sander and I'm just gonna hit it really quick and kind of round it over. Just make sure we don't have any sharp edges left. Bump those front two edges. And we'll sand the underside to make sure there's no splinters. All right, so now we're all set to start assembling. Once we have our edge banding machine going, it'll take care of all of those last three steps for us, which will be nice. It'll save us a ton of time. So I built this little jig just to hold the corners together and we're fastening these with Craig screws um, behind, the, uh, behind the drawer face and on the back of the drawer so you won't see them. And sometimes when you put Craig screws in the corners like to slip which is why I built this little jig but I just built this and I think I'm going to rebuild it later. So the side that's shorter than the other three sides is the back of the drawer and you'll see why I did it like that in a minute. I'm not bothering to glue these outside corners because since we're using pre-finished plywood the glue won't stick much anyway because it's just a glossy surface. Flip it and we'll put the front on. We'll flip it this way too so we don't run into that same problem with the drill. Make sure we have our dados lined up for the drawer bottom. Now we're all assembled. We'll just put our bottoms in. So this part you will want to glue, or you'll find that the drawer bottom kind of rattles because our dados are a little bit oversized. So you don't need to get a ton of glue in there. And then if you size stuff right, your bottom should just drop right in there. Once you get it in, it should just go pretty easy. We'll just take a brad nailer with some short nails put a few go around and just angle a few into the sides to hold that bottom up tight until our glue dries and then once you've got it nailed off and glued in just take a wet rag clean up any of your glue that you left over so it doesn't dry up on you so you normally squeeze some out when you assemble it all and there you go 